Just got home from Star City Games, Baltimore, Maryland. And as always, I played the Epic Storm. The list in front of you, I am calling deck version 5.6. So, uh, a couple things you'll notice right off the bat. Two copies, two copies of Cabal Ritual. Uh, and then there's also two copies of Past and Flames in the sideboard. Only three Chrome Mocks. Uh, Scalding Tarn has made its way back in as a one-of. And uh, everything else should look somewhat familiar. So, Scalding Tarn... Uh, for those of you that might have missed it, uh, no green. That means that you usually want to split your fetches since Tarn can't fetch for Bayou. So Scalding turns back. Two copies of Badlands and a Volcanic. You gotta support Pulverize. Three copies of Chromox. So I love Chromox. I think I didn't do well this weekend, and I'm not blaming it on not having a fourth copy of Chromox, but I think I would have been a little bit better against some of my matchups had I had it. Uh, that said, to jump ahead a little bit, I wouldn't change the deck list at all. Despite my record, I still really liked it and played it again in the next big event. I just don't think this weekend happened to be right for me. So, three copies of Chrome Mox. Everything here is pretty standard. You'll notice only three copies of Duress. That's where the second Cabal Ritual came in. So, three Duress, three Chrome Mox, two Cabal Ritual. Everything else is stock. So, the two Cabal Rituals act as Lion's Eye Diamonds 5 and 6. And they give you a little more oomph. Uh, so, like, games where you're disrupted by Hymnatorok, for example, with Grixis control being on the rise, you have a little bit more fighting power. And I had a lot of games this weekend where I sided in a copy of Pass and Flames, and Cabal Ritual and Pass and Flames began, uh, became my plan B. And I won a lot of games that way against these decks that are trying to disrupt you a lot. So, that was pretty nice. Uh, Cabal Ritual in general, if it's only plus one, you're playing Black, Pir Black Pyretic Ritual, but it's been great. Uh, I've liked it as a two of, I don't like one, so a lot of people are playing a Chrome Mox here and one less Cabal Ritual. So my issue with that is it makes the Pass and Flames plan a lot weaker. Um, and then there's the side effect that you can't Infernal Tutor for another copy. That's pretty rare in my opinion. But it is something that technically comes up. Uh, I did Infernal Tutor for a second Cabal Ritual twice this weekend. Uh, I mean, it happens sometimes, but it's not something that I would think is make or break. So, my board plan has been kind of interesting. So the thought process behind this list and the concept behind this list is that against decks that Empty the Warns is bad, you can become Ant. And you do that by bringing in a Past and Flames, and bringing in a Tendrils, you board out Empty, and you board out a Mox. And now that you're essentially Ant, uh, that's what I'm calling the Ant plan. And this is really good against decks like Miracles or Grixis Control. So that's what I've been liking. It's been pretty good for me. And you can also board into a Belcher-esque deck where you can board in more Empties, and the fourth Mox, and now you take out probably the Burning Wish, the Tutor, and a Cabal Ritual, or something along those lines. And you now have a Belcher sort of list. Or you could just stay T, yes. Uh, it's been really good. Against uh, Death Shadow, for example, I've been actually been boarding out the Ad Nauseam, and I've been boarding in two copies of Empty, and then I've been boarding in a Pastman Flames. So this allows you to have a really strong late game against their, never used a computer before, uh, against their discard plan, but also you have the explosive multiple empty of the Warren's draws. Like this list has been very good to me. So I've been brainstorming up a lot of ways to improve because I didn't do well this weekend. And sometimes that happens, like you're not always going to win at Magic. So I was thinking of ways on the way home uh, on my five hour trip in order to improve this list. And ultimately I decided I like what I had. Uh, sometimes you just don't win in Magic, and, you know, it's part of playing the game. You have bad weekends. But I thought about maybe moving this uh, main and playing one less fetch land, but I don't really like the idea of seven fetches with six lands. It's going to make your brainstorms worse. It's going to make your ponders worse. You're going to have inconsistent mana. I don't like it. But that's something you could do. Uh, I'll undo that for a moment. That should be there, and this should be here. Okay. But uh, it's something you could do. You're going to have a lot more mulligans, which is one of my fears. I didn't mulligan a lot this weekend. I mulliganed four times. Unfortunately, 
I'm mulligan to five. My game two against Death and Axes and had to keep a terrible hand, so sometimes that happens. So overall, though, I, I barely mulliganed. I thought the list was very compact. I didn't miss the eighth discard spell at all. I don't know where to go from here, but I thought about playing a second copy of Tendrils of Agony over the Grape Shot, so that way, against Death Shadow, you could also board in a, an extra Tendrils, but against Miracles, if you really wanted to, you could turn in a Grinding Station. You could board out all your tutors, bring in a ton of Storm Spells and Past in Flames, and just grind them out as a way of being Grixis and winning through Counterbalance. It's just a thought that I had, but I have so many things that I want to try. Uh, but ultimately, in my head, I decided that I think this list was best. I just watched the finals of the Star City Baltimore coverage, and a four color alone one, and that's making me second guess cutting the grape shot. Uh, Bob Huang also had video coverage of a deck tech, so I think four color alone is on the rise, and I don't want to be cold to a card like Gaddick Teague. So I'm going to continue to play grape shot. You could not play massacre, but I played Death in Texas three times this uh, weekend, and. I went 0 for 3 on die rolls against them, and I only won one match. Being on the die rolls is pretty important against them. And in that matchup, I would have liked the fourth Chromox, but sometimes that happens. Uh, I had a really, really interesting line against Phil Gallagher, and in hindsight, I made the wrong play, I think. But I Massacre was good, I just didn't play it properly. I had another match where Massacre straight up won me game 1, and then I was able to easily win game 2, so... I think that the deck needs both Grape Shot and Massacre at the moment. I don't think a second Tendrils is necessary, but if you decide to play one, you can board it in with the Past in Flames and keep one in the board. My issue is that most of the time you can find the Tendrils anyway, and having a second doesn't really give you a whole lot more equity, rather than having an out to something like Gaddick Teague. And, you know, overall just general use being a cheap sweeper, so... This is the list. This is what I'm calling 5.6. I really like it. Everyone should test it. It's been great for me. I plan on updating the website uh, over the next few days. Please be patient. Everything will be updated. There will be a new Cyborg Guide PDF. There will be a new Cyborg Guide section. Uh, the home page checklist will be updated. There's a lot to do. Card choices. So everything will be done. Just takes a little bit of time. Don't PM me. I know how much people love to message me when things are going to be up. Just hold tight. It's not a big deal. Uh, in the meantime, start playing this in leagues hopefully you do better than i did this weekend but thursday night when i was playing it i went 12 and 3 i was feeling very confident going into this weekend but sometimes you just don't draw well you draw a lot of clunky hands it happens it's a part of playing combo but i think this list is very good and honestly if there's another event next weekend i play the same exact 75 no secrets so this is the epic storm 5.6 i'm rambling a lot thank you for watching